to Piers Morgan on Central. I'm joined now by Talk TV contributor Paula Ryan Adrian and Talk TV presenter Richard Tyson. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. It's been an interesting uh, evening in many ways. Um, this whole issue of transgenderism it seems to be just dominating the, the global debate right now in all different ways. What did you make of that interview with, with Riley Gaines, though? As you say, I mean, she is remarkably brave, but the, the grief that people are now getting, anybody who wants to talk about this mm. stuff, how many sexes there are, how many genders there are, <coughs> what trans women can and can't do, is it's actually terrifying. Just this week, I was taken down by TikTok for suggesting there are two sexes, two genders, they said that was hate speech and right. inciting violence. And that's the problem, is yeah. there's, we've lost any respect for the alternative opinion. Yeah. This comes to my general belief that democratic debate is getting killed. Yeah. Um, I, what's the solution to this? Uh, the solution to this is, and I, I appreciate that this probably sounds really prissy, but the a solution to this is programmes like this, teaching people that it is possible to sit at a table with people that you probably wouldn't do normally, but to engage in intelligent conversation. Right, I agree, but don't we have to start with some basic respect for scientific facts? This whole trans debate, it seems to me, comes down to whether you believe or not that biological sex is irrefutable, that you are either born male or female. And I think if you don't sign up to that, then you're basically a denier of scientific fact. Is, if we lived our lives on the basis of scientific fact, we wouldn't be the human beings that we are. It is a very emotive topic, and that is you why... You can't feel comfortable seeing six-foot-four-inch biological males dominating women in sport, surely? I do think that sport is a category that needs to be considered. Mm. But when we're talking about other aspects of our daily life, it worries me that there is this level of discrimination. Well, what about, okay, quite... well, what about this issue of the WI, mm. right, who William Hague has said that they've got to accept transgender members? Mm. This is what he said on Times Radio. There are transgender people. They have changed their gender. Um, this is part of our society now. And um, I think large national organisations like the WI have to get over that and get used to that. Richard? He's completely wrong. It's utter nonsense. C Richard, he, he, oh, Richard, seriously. Do you seriously. know how hard it is to be a woman? No, you don't. Which is do you, what, do which, you which think is you would choose to be a woman? I just want to let you into his little secret here, guys. It's not easy being but a woman. But that, that's why it's they... It's not easy being a man, not, actually. That's, but that's why, I, I beg that's, to differ. That's why you shouldn't be... Oh, you think it's easy being a man I, right I, now? I beg My to differ. God. I think if you are going to choose to be a woman... In, in the women's industry, that's you're why going to choose it... to be a woman, you're going to go through what could be very, very painful operations. You are going to change your but life so that society doesn't accept... You've just agreed with me. Women feel so offended. They feel so discriminated they against, they feel demeaned against. Of course they should. I, I want people who want to support women to be, to be part of the female fight. And if it, that includes a transgender person, why not? The clue's in the name. Women's why Institute. Not? You can have a trans women's institute if you want. Why do we need a trans women institute? What about a trans male institute? I do because actually. We're I, you know what? I have. Women, but what have about you thought about this better than a lot? I do feel what is wrong with actually being a trans woman? and calling yourself that, and accepting Absolutely. you're not a biological female, you're a trans woman. Exactly. And That's celebrating what... that. Exactly. But not diminishing women's rights or women's institutions, frankly. If they want to have that, fine, let them. I don't think we should be forcing these things on people. I think that's the way you alienate people. Talk about AI. I found that interview with uh, Yuval Noah Harari pretty terrifying. Mm. Utterly terrifying. I mean, I, I was learning... Especially following Elon Musk and uh, Stephen Hawking. Completely. Mm. I mean, the, the idea, and from what uh, Professor Stephen Hawking said, it, people are now saying that, actually, if this gets out of control, it could end the human race. Yes. I mean... Well, we, it we, is out of control, isn't it? And, and, it, it, and it is we're all well, that guy said this is like an amoeba and yeah. we're heading towards T-Rex. His description mm. was... What would it look like? Was, was, ..was truly terrifying and we've got to get on top of this urgently. Yeah. And uh, and essentially sort of uh, understand. I mean, we are looking. I have control. to say, we are looking into having a Pierce pack, which is basically robots. Well, obviously, it will fail. Uh, it will fail. And they get trained. Will, 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 will they get trained to say Pierce? I completely agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> They'll look and sound exactly like Paula. <laughs> and that's how we know it'll be AI. <laughs> and that's how we know the end of the it, world is not. Nice. They couldn't do you though, Pierce. That's that's beyond the limits. I think I'm, all, I'm beyond the robot. I like to think I am because if I'm not, we're all we're all screwed, right? Unfortunately, the show's. Groups. We lost a few minutes to what we think was an AI attack on our sound desk. Uh, but thank you, Pat. And uh, we'll give you more time next time if the robots let you. That's it from me tonight. Whatever you're up to, keep it uncensored. 